living that they found the true culprit. After a nearby terrorist attack on Moscow airport, police were informed that someone was desecrating Muslim graves and painting, painting over the pictures of Muslims at the grave sites. What the fuck? Because of the high alert that the terrorist attack had brought, police responded in full force. When they arrived at the cemetery, they were shocked. It was not an organization. It was one man. Anatoly Moskvin. Once arrested, police swarmed his residence. They were surprised to find a tiny apartment that Anatoly shared with his parents and 26 life-sized dolls. At least at first glance, they were reported to appear as antique homemade dolls. Their faces and hands were covered in thick fabric. Makeup was painted on their faces and some had buttons where eyes should be so that they could watch cartoons with Anatoly. As he later stated, this guy is a psycho bro. When police touched one music plate, many had music boxes nestled in their chests. Pain. Upon further inspection, the police realized that, that these 26 figures were not dolls. They were the mummified bodies of young girls and women. Damn. Bodies that had gone missing from graves around Russia. The media quickly dubbed Anatoly as the Lord of the Mummies. In addition to the bodies, the police discovered instru instructions on how to mummify the girls using salt and baking soda, <clears throat> along with Anatoly's personal instructions on how to make the girls into dolls. People that knew Anatoly and his parents were shocked. The Moskvins were described as nice people. The editor of Necrologies, the magazine Anatoly wrote for, com commented that although Anatoly's had corks, he would have never thought he was capable of something so horrifying. Even Anatoly's parents say that they were entirely unaware that the dolls in their home actually were, you know, real people. They traveled away from their home for most of the year, and it was while his parents were away that Anatoly would construct the dolls. Pain. His mother Elvira said we saw these dolls, but we did not suspect there were dead bodies inside. We thought it was his hobby to make such big dolls and did not see anything wrong with it. This guy is crazy, man. In court, Anatoly was largely unapologetic. Though he did cooperate with investigators, he claimed he'd been making the dolls for over 10 years. Though he did not look at them as dolls, but viewed them as his children. And actually has always wanted children of his own. However, Russian adoption centers has rejected previous applications from Anatoly, marking him in a, in a ineligible to adopt a child to his low income. I mean, yeah, bro, you're still living with your parents. Why would they let you adopt a child? This guy's kind of crazy, man. Not kind of crazy, it's very fucking crazy. So he took matters into his own hands and took home the dead, abandoned children. And actually said that during a court hearing, you abandoned your girls. I brought them home and warmed them up. Damn, bro. This guy is insane. <clears throat> Originally, Anatoly was charged with desecration of graves and dead bodies, which would only give, them f give him five years of prison time. However, after the mandatory 
psychiatrist evaluation that was ordered. They diagnosed them with paranoid schizophrenia. Yo. Hold on. Don't tell me they released them. Which is bad.